Hello my dears and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Pamela and today is day three of my One Pout for a Week series. In case you missed the first few days, they'll be linked down below for you guys, but if you're not interested or curious, just know I am rocking the Elf Times J Kissa palette and as you can see, today's look is very, very very, very outer space alien vibes because I did go in with that shade alien, which is an absolutely gorgeous like lime green. And if uh, you don't know me or didn't know me in high school, I was obsessed, obsessed with lime green. Like everybody I think at school knew that lime green or any sort of shade of green was like my favorite color. And it's funny because I don't really like wearing it on the eyes, but green is definitely my favorite color. But for today, like I said, I really wanted to make Alien the star of the show because it is definitely the scariest color in this palette for me. So I'm so glad that I went with it because I really, really like the way that this look turned out. And it was definitely not planned. Like I didn't really think this one through. I just knew that I wanted alien all over the lid and mac and cheese in the crease is always really really nice so that's what I've created today I also added danger as a pop of color on the lower lash line and I I just love the way that this turned out color has always scared me when it comes to eyeshadow believe it or not and you know it's just it's just makeup like it's just all gonna come off at the end of the day anyway right but it's just always like you know a little bit intimidating for me so I'm really really like happy with today's so, look and I think no more babbling let's just get right into this yes as always i'm going to start with my essence i heart stage eyeshadow primer and i'm just going to apply this obviously all over the lids and just blend it out with my finger first color i'm going to jump into is mac and cheese and i did not set that primer i have noticed that these shades work so much better with a sticky base so i definitely Definitely 100% recommend you going in straight after you apply like a primer or even a concealer just because they appear a lot more vibrant. They will stay on a lot longer and they still blend it out just like a dream. So it's not going to affect the blending process at all. Doesn't Cecilia just have the loveliest voice? Now I'm going to take Alien on a little teeny tiny like shader type of brush and I'm just going to be packing this on top of the eyelid. If I could recreate this look again, I would definitely make sure to apply a little bit more of that eyeshadow primer just because again, like I mentioned before, they just look so much more vibrant and so beautifully like opaque if you have a sticky base. So that is why you see that I took my sweet time packing on this shade. So you could always just do that, pack it on ever so slowly, but I just noticed that. Then I went back in with a little bit more mac and cheese using the brush that is included in the palette. Then I went into Danger and I just used the brush that comes in the eyeshadow palette. I just used the smudging side and this is really, really, really good for the lower lash line. Like it just packs on the color really, really vibrant. And as you could see that green and purple contrast on the eyes is so awesome. Like I really, really love it. And it is giving me a little bit of Barney vibes, but I'm here for it. Then I picked up the shade 23 using that same little brush that the palette comes with. I sort of just wiped that purple shade away and then used it to highlight the inner corners. And this is gorgeous in the inner corners and on the face too. And then of course I also applied a little bit on the brow bone. And then last but not least, I applied a ton of mascara. And that's all I've got for you guys today. So hopefully you enjoyed day three of my One Palette for a Week series. I think that so far this is my favorite look just because it has three totally different colors. And, you know, even those three colors like just look so well together. Like she really, really took the time to curate this palette to pretty much perfection in my opinion. And I love when color schemes and palettes look, you know, off or whatever, because when you look at this, you think of like, nothing like I you can't really like think of you know what colors you want to pair together but in the end they all just pair really really well together so on that that's that's really really good really fun in my opinion and it's different than anything that I've got in my collection if you're curious where did I even put it? If you're curious, on my lips today, I am just wearing the Physicians Formula Butter like lip balms or whatever in the shade Brazilian Nut. I think it's really, really pretty. It's also really comfortable, so that's why I went with that shade. So, uh, yeah. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and spread my love for makeup, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>